Say the words foreign exchange on the streets of Kinshasa and you're unlikely to make new friends. The Democratic Republic of Congo capital is currently home to the world's worst performing currency. Right now I can't even pay my rent. The Congolese franc has lost value and the dollar's too expensive. How can anyone buy dollars to pay for rent? A franc that slid 30% this year is not the only scary statistic. Foreign reserves are down to three weeks of imports. Inflation is closing on a 45% rate, as low commodity prices and high deficits deal a double blow to Africa's top copper producer and leave its central bank reeling. It's unacceptable that foreign revenues remain low. We have been living in a situation where we have a shortage of foreign exchange. We thought we'd have enough by the second half of the year. But that has not been the case. Here observers see another sign of desperation, a meeting between the Prime Minister and officials of Russia's VTB Bank to discuss a possible Eurobond issue. With one major international snag, VTB is subject to US sanctions. Any deal could jeopardize IMF moves to provide help, though some think Congo would be better to help itself. We have over 80 million hectares of arable land, but only 10% is used. If we cultivated more, then we wouldn't need to import food that costs $1 billion. That money could go towards running our economy. IMF assistance, it's warned, depends on political stability. But violent street protests against President Joseph Kabila are stoking fears of a return to the civil wars of the turn of the century and the comeback of one other statistic, the thousands upon thousands that died in them. In the meantime, there are few winners, even among those who do have the cash to make an exchange.